What's up guys, it's Aiden. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aiden, and today we're gonna go through how 2 Chains' 4AM was made on FL Studio. This beat was produced by Murder Beats using a Qbeat sample. So first off, we're gonna go through how the sample was made and then we'll go through the entire song. This is remake three out of four. If you wanna see The weekend's Blinding Lights and Designer's Panda, you can go back to the first video. I'll leave a link to it up there. I'm gonna let Aiden from earlier today explain most of this video. Because this is a sponsored video, the FLP will be available to everyone in the description below, as well as Cymatics' Diablo plugin. So let's start off with the sample. We have this guitar first. And the reason this is done over two different channels is because with this first one, we're automating the channel pitch, as you can see in the channel controls. Whereas with these two chords, we want them with zero pitch change. So this note here, G5, will be going down in pitch, whereas the other notes playing in the chord will stay at the same pitch. Cool, hope that makes sense. So the preset we're using here is the Ample Guitar LP and the preset isn't actually 2 chains 4 am I made the preset myself. Next up, we put the pattern into the playlist and go render and replace. From there, you'll have this audio clip. So go into it, right click on it and go open in new slice X channel. You want to enable envelope and make this envelope here, which will be available in the FLP in the description. So this is what it sounds like without any effects. Then for effects, we're adding some Fruity Flanges, Fruity Chorus, some Guitar Rig 5, and we're using the Acoustic Shimmer preset, then some Fruity Compressor. We could have used Cymatics' Diablo plugin instead of Compressor and just increased the body. That would achieve the same effect. I thought I'd mention that because they're sponsoring these videos. And once again, that plugin is available in the description below for a free seven day trial. So go check that out and support the channel. Then we're adding Parametric EQ2 and Fruity Compressor, increasing the distortion. So it's gonna sound like this in the end. I think that sounds pretty good. Next up, we have a second guitar from Ample Sound. It's the Ample Bass Acoustic. I'm just using the default preset. Next up, we have this preset from Omnisphere called the Coiling Zimbira 1, playing these notes. And Qbeats has been known to use Omnisphere in their own beats, as well as the Philharmonic 2, which is another preset that we're using today. We're going into Miroslav Philharmonic 1, then Percussion, Chromatic Percussion, and we're using this Agogos 1 comp. And this is the melody we're playing. So these are some really quiet instruments in the background. Then we're going into contact using the preset bank cloud supply and the preset we're using here is seventh heaven and we're just playing a b5 and that plays right here then we're adding some white noise which has been side chained then finally we're going to addictive keys using the studio grand preset and we're playing this pattern So then I exported all of that and put it back into the playlist. We also duplicated the sample, then click up here and go make unique or make unique is sample. Then in this sample, go to the mixer and add halftime, which is gonna sound like this. So with the original sample as well. Then let's move into the drums. So first off, we have the identical kick. As you can see by comparing the waveforms to the original song, it matches with the original audio. And we're playing this pattern. And that plays with the 808, which is just the spins 808. And for effects, we're just adding a low pass filter to cut out the high end. And we're playing this pattern. Then we have the identical hi-hat, which I found in a Murder Beats drum kit, and they called it the 4AM hi-hat. I was a little bit skeptical, but I compared it to the original song. 
which I'll do right now, and you can see it's identical. So if we add EQ2 to the master, you can see the hi-hat here. Then when you compare that to the original audio, just look at this versus this. So you can see it right there. That will be muted for copyright, but you can see just looking at the waveforms. Also, it sounds the same, so that's good enough for me. Then we have this Murder Beats clap, which just plays on the two and four, or in this case, the three and seven. So that's all the drums, don't go anywhere just yet. We have the next remake coming up right in a second. We have some gross beat vinyl off and vinyl on, which has been automated in uh, the song. We also have the reverse kick, which you can see they did this in the original song by looking at the waveforms. As you can see, they reversed and exported the kick. So it sounds like this. So the way you do that is add reverb to the kick. Then we're gonna go into Edison and record on input, hit on record, then just press play. Then we're gonna take that audio and drag it into the playlist, then double click on it and go reverse. Then we're just lining it up here, then bring up the in and we're chopping off the tail end of the sample. That's basically it for the remake. If you wanna have a further in-depth look, you can check out the FLP for free in the description as well, as well as getting a free trial to download Cymatics' Diablo plugin. That's it for remake number three. Next up, we have remake number four, which is Trippy Red's Miss the Rage. Anyway, that's it for the video. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.